You hear the saying like, just Miami is just is not like a real place. Like it's not real. And I get it. Hey y'all, it's your girl Fumi Layo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video. And make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience living in Miami. And I guess this could be like basically like a year update yeah a year update um or maybe a little bit more than a year but yes so as you guys know if you've seen my last video or any of the other videos on my channel i did like about a three month sabbatical in miami a few months after i moved back or whatever i was just that whole time between the sabbatical and the time i actually moved back i was just looking every day online like for you know good prices or whatever deal I could, you know, make something shake with to get an apartment out here in an area that I felt like comfortable in. And so I was just checking religiously multiple times a day, multiple times a day. Then I finally moved down here and signed the lease. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like I'm really about to be here for a long time. Granted, I knew that I wanted to be here because of the sabbatical that I had here before. So I knew this was where I wanted to be, but the prices just skyrocketed. In a matter of just a few months, this price just went boom. You know, it was wild. So I'm just, again, trying to get acquainted with that price. You feel me? Um, or the rent, okay? So trying to get acquainted with that and get used to, you know, what that would look like for me and everything. And, you know, just, I went, went about like, you know, trying to, it, I've been taking it slow and to be honest i'm still now even still furnishing my place for real for real but uh make trying to make my place comfortable for me and then you know being intentional about like you know if i'm gonna be here i have to i have to make the most of it in the sense of like you know i gotta really be exploring the city i have to make sure i'm having fun i have to make sure that you know like money wise that i'm staying on track you know and in terms of like making you know making income and um it was just it's just like wow i'm really doing this it just felt so real to me and it was like initially kind of like a apprehension you know but then i pushed out of that you know started going out exploring um uh, lots of walks uh trying new things you know there was like it just so many different things you know uh, i think i told you guys in the other video the whole like pottery and the put shack the little golf stuff and you know just different things just different cool things or whatever also going out um meeting new people you know uh meeting more new people than last time and you know making friends and then just you know really taking in the city and I, there are just some things that i noticed i i'll share like i do notice like the city and it's part of the reason that i came back is that yes the city really will i don't know will make you want to like make more money and like really be the best version of yourself you know here the people they just take they be taking real good care of themselves in terms of like physically you know they be really keeping up with themselves kudos the fitness they really be on that fitness tip out here like looking good and everything and also the entrepreneurship mindset of like having different businesses and like you'll meet people who are like doing real estate there was like one time me and my um my friend we were at dinner and there was this guy uh that was sitting next to us well these guys are sitting next to us and then it turns out like one of them was um one of them was in commercial real estate talking to us about like how he's building up again i think he had stopped for a while or whatever company he was with before he stopped and then now he's starting it up from the ground up again and like basically going through his plan of like how he's about to do it what he's done in the past how he you know i don't know it was like a whole business model and everything like that just talking through it so it's like it's so cool you can just be out with your friend one day and just like normal stuff and somebody next to you could just be doing like something so dope and just you know you get to learn different uh information about real estate or whatever business people are in and also like it's just honestly it's really crazy you can be like it's just millionaires all around in every city right but 
I don't know. This city in particular, I've been able to really see it. Like, you be with people who, they look normal. You wouldn't think, right? And then you end up being in conversation with them. They just sold some sort of product or, I don't know, something. You know how, look, I don't know too much about this whole world, but they, they I don't know, these people that had sold something or licensed something or whatever and made something to a business or whatever and made like multi-million dollar deals this you know all that all that type of talk and everything like that so i was just like oh my gosh like wow you know people are really out here doing the, the doggone thing like there people are really out here making money so i know what you're thinking oh my gosh this girl is so green but trust me guys i am aware that people lie too i know this is also a city for that where people will be super flashy and they may not you know have it but that's everywhere also but i'm talking about like you know people who you might even see at different conferences or different things like that or they're even the speakers and they just look like normal like you or people that you come across in real life and i just get the sense like nah i feel like you really about what you're saying but again i am aware people lie too so there is that so it's inspiring to see especially like the fact that they're doing it as entrepreneurs and you know business owners i just i love that i i and i want to be around that because it inspires me to get on get on my stuff and really get serious and everything like that and when i say be around that i mean being in a city where you know people are like that i'm not talking about like my immediate network as of right now and to not be obviously you should be content but to realize that you know there's there's more there's more they're greater levels to reach so the whole thing is kind of inspiring and just like it's interesting because you would never know you would never know that's why like yeah honestly the this city is it normalizes so much like sometimes i don't know if other people yeah i have heard other people say it you hear the saying like just miami is just is not like a real place like it's not real and i get it although they're why i feel like other people are saying it is different than why i say it but it's like it's just so many things that people tell you oh this is impossible or oh this is rare not that here in miami you'll see like 10 or 20 people that are doing it like i don't know man it's something i think also because you know there's no state income tax here uh <laughs> i don't know if that's the job but it's just a lot of business-minded people and oh and and this is what i had meant to say in my previous uh video as to like the reason why i i moved back here is just because it's like I feel like in a city like this, there is no such thing as dreaming too big. You know, depending on your environment, you might feel like, oh wow, that's like, I can't even believe I'm aspiring to this or like, oh, you know, what are the chances I could actually do something like this? But somewhere like here, the person that lives two doors down from you in your, your same apartment complex, or maybe they live, depending on, um, or maybe in the same restaurant you're in, Two, two tables down, they could be doing what you're aspiring to do. Who you're aspiring to be, they could exhibit some of those uh, traits or accomplishments that that person that you wanna be, um, they could have done it already, you know? I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't say that obviously all that glitters is not gold. You really don't know people, right? But you can take stuff from people and you know learn from that or aspire to be like that specific thing. But obviously you don't know what people got going behind closed doors and you don't see people's uh, bank statements and everything like that. But still, you can still have something that you can be inspired by and learn from. So it's just a larger than life type of city. And I love that because it inspires me to dream bigger, you know, to never think that never think that you really doing something you know what i mean like <laughs> obviously yes you should know like yeah you know you're you're doing a little something in life or whatever but you should realize that oh there's there's so there's so much more you need to be working harder not that you need to be but that if you want to get certain places that there's work that needs to be done it gives you things to aspire to i feel like walking outside in certain areas it's like walking in a vision board truthfully yes because it's beautiful and then you know when you're seeing like you're just seeing different things and yeah it's pretty i don't know to me this city is dope 
would I say it is for everybody? No, 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 no. I wouldn't say that at all. You know, <laughs> it has its like, it's also, I don't know. I think it's here or Las Vegas. Maybe even both of them. It's kind of like Vice City or whatever. So yeah, everything is kind of at your fingertips. Again, with the whole larger than live, the whole this city is not real. You know, it's a lot of things are accessible and it's a lot it's a lot going on a lot going on forever like if you're it, i could definitely see how if somebody is not well i guess nobody is 100 percent secure in their identity or whatever but like if somebody who really don't know themselves you could definitely get lost definitely get lost i hear so there's also that you know because with a place like this a whole larger than life the whole you seeing money around you you see millionaires you seeing the people pop bottles and it's like spending thousands or whatever da, da, you know with that whole like culture of spending money literally you know um <laughs> you're gonna wanna you know you it could lead people astray also with the whole party culture comes with you know its own stuff that you know, is not too not too great you know so there are different bad stuff about the city and everything like that but i do feel like it does get a bad rap for like oh it's only about partying it's really not it's really not is there a great party culture out here absolutely yeah no <laughs> i have not like gone out everywhere but like from the cities that i have gone out in oh yeah miami 100 100 percent takes the cake 100 percent, 100 percent. like yeah you had some great times out here not gonna lie to you it's definitely i've definitely had some times out here that <laughs> never had a lot of fun definitely a very fun city um there's always just forget even partying the food the food is just it's so good out here i love it i don't know there's so many different restaurants so many great places to try out and eat and it's just oh my gosh but I just I spent too much money on that. I'm not gonna lie. Within my my time here, I just spent so much money on food. It's ridiculous, honestly. But also like in general, forgetting like the partying and the food, there's just so much stuff to do out here. There's so many different things. Like it's just always something. Then you know, I don't frequently go to the beach. Um it's rarely, honestly, I don't often go to the beach at all. It's not intentional, it just it's just how it happens like i it's not a priority to me to go to be the beach but when i do go it's lit it's cool like it's nice the beach is cool it's calm and everything but um there's just so much there's just so much to do out here there are different like museums and stuff it's it's just dope out here there's different things to do and then there's like the winwood arts you know winwood i believe it's called winwood art district or whatever and that's a its own different vibe too over there like yeah it's just a lot of different stuff to do and they're like the day parties too out here those are pretty fun uh i think i talked i don't know if i talked about it in this video or in the previous video it's a lot of uh conferences there's a good amount of conferences out here too so the networking opportunities uh are plentiful you know this is one of those places if you're like big on networking and meeting people and all of that i would say that this does seem like it's the place for that i will say that you know living here now uh, versus like the sabbatical before i have had to remind myself like it's okay to just like breathe and relax because versus like before i just had to try to like cram so much different stuff into uh, a small amount of time well only a couple months versus now it's like i live here so i can really chill out and just coast you know but me being in a city like this it makes me feel like i always do need to be doing something so i do have to remind myself that it's cool to just chill and not you know be active or whatever and just relax but i do have my time so where i just like i could just go for days just like not do anything like because it's just you know but uh there's that there's that i will say that um yes i do meet people with nine to fives and the people that i have met that work nine to fives only few work like in person most of them are remote workers 
so there's that very diverse i love the diversity how there are people from all different types of places i will say that you know it is you know definitely a good amount of black people out here you know obviously i'm a black woman so i'm gonna look at things like that because those are things that you know make me feel uh comfortable and stuff like that although i don't mind you know but it's it's nice to have it be diverse so that's pretty cool i did like that there are definitely like different places i felt safe but um you know there are different places that are like more safe than others miami is a city just like any other so even with me saying like how it's like a whole bunch of like money and everything out here there are like places that you know it does show like there it's there's a disparity so you will see that like where it's like some places like look super lavish and everything like that but like two blocks over it's not looking the same so that is one thing that i have noticed out here too um there's that and then they all they have their like different areas with you know different cultures and everything like that each so we'll say living here the sun just being out the weather has just been so dope it's been amazing i've been loving having good weather although recently it's been cold out here that hasn't been my favorite but yeah i will say though there is a lot of rain like this place does rain a uh, significant amount and then sometimes there'll be like warnings for like hurricanes so that's something new that i've had to deal with so like there are bad uh weather stuff that happened over here but yeah i feel like that's like a summary of my experience living so far here in miami i really like the city uh you know it's definitely a good place for me at this point in my life will i stay here forever uh no you know um as you guys know i used to live in dc so i still do love dc and i do think that i will probably eventually go back so yes but right now miami is good and i'm enjoying it and you know learning a lot and just seeing a lot so yeah that's that's my experience thanks so much for watching if you have any questions or anything like that let me know and i hope to see you on my next video bye Let's go.